develop a little bit more. I'm here to reply to all your questions and uh, maybe have uh, you know, talk a little bit about the destination uh, before, and then I'm open for any, any questions. Okay, uh, first of all, very good evening to all of you, Excellency. Thank you very much for your esteemed presence. Uh, merci, Sixteen. A niti and team and Mauritius article gun there. Uh, I wish to express my sincere gratitude on behalf of the destination to all these people who have worked a lot and to all of you who are present today. I think it's an auspicious occasion today as we speak. First of all, there's excellent news from Air Mauritius who's assuring connectivity from Chennai. This will enable operators from the south to seamlessly send clients to Mauritius. Secondly, I would say uh, connectivity doesn't only resume and talk about tourism. We're talking about strengthening ties between roof countries. We're talking about cultural bonds. As you're aware, tourism creates bonds. Tourism is people-to-people uh, -people diplomacy. And this is one of the reasons that we are here today. We are here today, not only for the tourism industry, but as a country. And we are sure that this connection, this connectivity between the South and Mauritius, as you're aware, Mauritius is house to, uh, Chennai is house to Mauritius for extending uh, medical uh, facilities to Mauritians. A lot of Mauritians have come to Chennai to study for, for university, for, uni for education purposes, and also for trade. So these are the three main aspects that this connectivity will pro promote, and uh, we will be extremely happy to answer all your queries. Thank you very much. Well, when I come to everybody, it's a historic day, I would say. Let us go back when the immigrants came from India to Mauritius. One quarter of them were from the southern region. So the cultural affinity is not now, it started a long time ago. And with Air Mauritius now being operating a direct flight, this was a great request, very strong request from the people from the south. We had several road shows and the concern were always expressed that connectivity is a problem. So I think Air Mauritius has done a great job in spite of the restrictions, in spite of limitations, that the flight limitations, but still they have been able to put one flight. And I hope that it will not be only flight from Chennai. Very soon we'll be having some more flights. I, I, I used to recollect that there was a time when there were free flights from Chennai, Chennai. So I think with the support of all the stakeholders here, we will show we are very confident that tourists from this side will increase more to Mauritius because this is an ideal, Mauritius is an ideal destination for people of the South. So that culture in terms of culture, in terms of connect, to, connect people, as the director just said, is very important. This is the purpose of increasing, of introducing our flight from China. This is the main message. In the, in the system, so you can, you can check uh, online, it's affordable. Uh, so Friday it's leaving Mauritius and Saturday it's leaving uh, Chennai. So Friday from Mauritius and Saturday from Chennai. Exactly. exactly. Last year, how many Indian tourists visited Mauritius? Actually last year from January to December, over the calendar year, we had a welcome around 50,000, 52,000 tourists from India, all over the region. Yeah. No, yes, the last year. How many from Tamil Nadu? Can you have any figure for that one? It's extremely difficult for for us to 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 know that, but we can estimate roughly around 20 percent were from the south. Basically, tourists coming to Mauritius, out of total. So India would be around that top 10 destinations from Mauritius. But you have to be, you have to actually think of, uh, of, of the numbers. Last year we had 
we didn't have connectivity uh, throughout. Nowadays, we are extending co connectivity. So this year, our objective is to attain pre-COVID numbers, and we should be able to finish at 80,000 this year. 80,000? Yeah. This is the objective. So you think uh, tourists from those who are going to Maldives will come to Mauritius? You know, I'm a firm believer that, you know, the sun shines for everybody. But uh, Mauritius differentiates itself from other islands, and we are positioning ourselves in India on the Indian market to tap on the Indian market because we believe in the potential. This is one of the reasons that our national carrier is gradually extending its roots towards Mumbai, towards Chennai, and towards Delhi. And we hope in the near future to cover another city. Any significance on the promotional uh, inaugural fight on the April 14? Sorry? Inaugural offer. Inaugural offer. The prices are very affordable. And there would be offers, of course. We launch him, and there will be offers for the press also. I would suggest that you connect to our, our, our eyes and ears on the market. And we are planning to host one press trip for, from the south to Mauritius. So, you said last year the number of tourists was 79. So, we are not up there. Some days up to 2020. 2019 was the best. Oh, sir, 2019. Yeah. And to give you an idea, we added a third flight from Delhi in December, and now we're already putting a new flight in April from here. So every four months from now, we have increased the capacity. So how much have demand. you increased the capacity? And is it after this Maldives thing, you are tapping so, the Indian market now? Yeah, so it's, it's coming gradually. So mm. uh, after the six flights from Mumbai, we were having one flight from Delhi, then two flights, now three flights since December, and now one new flight from, from Chennai. So, so total how many like uh, so how many six, expansion? Yeah. So six. now we have ten ten flights per week uh, from India. Ten flights per, per week, week from, from India, India in in A three thirty aircraft. From so April. So yes. the six flights from Bombay is uh, daily flights. Daily flights. So daily except steps. one day. Yeah. One day. So it's six flights per uh, week. So. Wait, what is about three flights from Delhi is? Yes. It's thrice a week or. Week, yeah. free, free so this time the tourism target which you have set for Indian tourists is much higher when compared to even pre-COVID times so because this is a new market means since after Maldives there will be more tourist potential for Mauritius. Is it? See, tourist, uh, tourism from this side has always increased gradually and uh, as even announced by the Indian government so we are trying to see, we have put a mark of 100,000 tourists from India. And with the support and collaboration of all the stakeholders, I am sure, and with the support of the press too, because visibility is a bit less, frankly speaking, from this side. So we want you to give that visibility so that we can attract more tourists from this area. But South, how much is the tourist, tourism potential? like? She said that you are focusing more on South and you are even planning a press. Exactly. This is, that is why. That is why we are coming to Chennai. Because but, uh, we see the potential, a lot of potential exists in the southern part of India. And uh, if you compare, we just compare the figures of tourists, of, uh, sorry, of travelers traveling from the southern part. I don't mention to countries in the neighboring uh, country to neighboring countries. So I think there is a potential <coughs> if we do the proper, uh, how you say, uh, make Strategy. the people aware. You know, if that is done, I am sure people will travel to Mauritius. So how many? One lakh is what is the target? Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Yeah. Oh, during the coming years. This year? Oh, I think this year or next year? Or objective maybe? this year. 2024 is 80,000 mm. and 25 would be 100,000. Oh. Yeah. In the coming years, two years, we should be able to attain one lakh. How many uh, tourists from Mauritius coming to India? Oh, you would be surprised. Mm. India is one of the most popular destinations. But think of it now, we don't have such a big population. We have 1.2 million people, okay? After which we have an aging population. I would say the travelers would be around 500,000. 
out of which you have 80 to 100,000 who, who come to Mauritius, to India. India. Yeah. Gradually, you will uh, expand it to other uh, cities like Bangalore, 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 Bangalore. This is a test case. We've started Mumbai. We've increased connectivity on Delhi. And uh, now we are in Chennai. The objective is to grow numbers. Obviously, we would, according to, to, to the requirements and demand from the market, we will slowly and gradually increase uh, connectivity.